All right, what's up YouTube? It's Mark again, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today I got my buddy Richard here, and we're gonna be talking about turkey vests. So as some of you guys may know, I am a terrible turkey hunter. And that's why I got this guy here, because he is a turkey slayer. Is that right? Uh, he's kind of modest, but every season he's pretty much tagged out in like two days of hunting. So uh, this is the vest that I used this season. Um, it's a really, I don't even know what brand it is. It's super old, um, but somebody gave it to me. And what it taught me is that I want a turkey vest. But this thing for me was just too enclosed it's like a big vest and I was sweating the entire time it was way too hot so I'm interested in getting something a little bit different so I bought two turkey vests and we're going to take a look at them today all right tell us about your turkey vest so you've been using this for a little while right yeah this is this is uh, two seasons now into the nomad vest the mg vest uh, I really like it it's you know kind of like perfect balance of uh, has a lot uh, but it's still a little minimal at the same time um, there's a lot of minimal vests out there there's a lot of vests that have way too much I found this one to be just right in the sweet spot so I've really fallen in love with this one is there anything you would change about it? Is there any complaints? No, I, I, I think the only thing possibly is there could be more mesh elements, but that would just help, uh, you know, using it in Florida. Uh, overall, I, I think like the ergonomics are perfect, where everything's at is perfect. It may get a little hot, to, you know, towards midday uh, in Florida. Not too bad, but like the back is like a solid piece. Uh, if that yeah. were mesh, it, you know, this would be the you know the best vest out there i think yeah so basically just like me the only thing is the heat mm -hmm. and that's why the vest that we're going to be looking at today we have the brand new nomad pursuit this just came out and this is a really small um vest that's specifically for the run and gun hunters and uh hopefully will not be too hot, so it might be really good for us Florida hunters. And then I got the closest one to it that I could find. So this one's a night and hail vest. It's the RG200. Uh, it looks like a pretty minimal vest. Uh, you know, it looks like something that would be comfortable here, especially in Florida. Um, you know, just the basics. And uh, yeah, it, it, look, you know, it looks like it's got what you need uh, without going overboard. So. We're gonna try these vests out. We're gonna talk a little bit about the ergonomics of it, um, how they're built. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go poo poo? <laughs> Did you just say he gotta go poo poo? Go I'm inside if you gotta go poo poo. I'm, I'm keeping that in the video. <laughs> so we're gonna try these things on. We're not gonna talk to each other about what we think of them until we've tried both of them on each. Um, and then we'll go over some of the features that they have. And uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to choose one and the other one's getting returned. So let's try them on. All right. I'm almost too big for it. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got a, it looks like a box call right here on the front strap. I've got mouth calls that would go in the... I think the box call goes here. Yeah? I think that's for the, um, their strikers can go here. No, that's a box call. Look how long that is. Yeah, but this is a, I think this is for like a hooter. Oh. Uh, like a hoot call. Which kind of seems weird to me. It would make way more sense to have a box call there because, I mean, how often do you need your hooter? Mm-hmm. I would probably put the box call there and put the hoot in here. Mm -hmm. Cause like, you're only using the hoot occasionally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, see that's okay. like a typical yeah, this looks box like, call. Yeah, I think both could, you'd probably both get away with putting a box call here or there. Yeah. Oh, this is probably another little spot for mouth call maybe, or maybe like a conditioning, like probably put a your conditioning piece of chalk bag. or something. That is kind of useful though. 
because I'm always worried my conditioning pad's going to scratch things up when I'm when mm -hmm. it's just riding in the same pocket. So this. that's for the um, the thermocell. So you open it up, okay, you stick the thermocell in, mm -hmm. stretch that over the top, and mm -hmm. there's another hook up higher. Yeah. So that's made specifically for. Yeah, the I think most of the most of the Nomad vests are thermocell friendly. <clears throat> so that's just a general pocket. Mm -hmm. Put your snacks, just, snack bars. Yeah. Put your Cliff bars in there. Put your beef jerky. Mm -hmm. Oh, so then on the back we got cup holder or bottle holder. Yeah, so I was, where are you gonna put your water? All right. Well, there's a bottle holder there, mm -hmm. but you always just clip it off, right? You yeah. just clip it hanging on somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, this is the game bag. Let's set that up just to see how that works here. There's like a clip there, yeah, and that clips into that. And then on the other side, oh. and then you can adjust those straps. So you can put your decoys in there or jacket or whatever. That's kind of a cool feature though. Mm -hmm. I like that, um, keeping it out of the way. But yeah, like you were saying that, it's nice that it has a game bag, but the game bag's pretty small. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know if you could really fit a turkey in there. And if you did, a lot of it would be sticking out so far that it would really put a lot of weight Mm -hmm. Like it'd be pulling Hanging. back because mm -hmm. it'd be up high. Yeah. So I don't know how useful that would be. Yeah. Yep. The whole vest might slink back, really. Mm hmm. Yeah. I feel like Nomad could have done better. Uh, well, I'm, I'm still in love with my other Nomad vest. I think, uh, you know, compared to that one, I think that one's just hit all the, mark per all the marks perfectly. Yeah, but you don't get hot like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Richard's actually running to grab a different vest that he has. I didn't even realize that he had it, but he has another one of these run and gun style vests. While he does that, I'm just gonna show this vest real quick. So this is that um, Night and Hail Run and Gun 200. So we got four striker spots right here, a little general pocket to put some stuff into. Um, your pot calls can go right here on the front and it's just like elastic. So you just stick them in there, they, they hold in and you can just pop them right out. You don't have to deal with any buckles or clips or anything like that. Um, over here, let's see, what is that? This is a, uh, um, a box call holder right here. Very easy to get to. Um, again, no, no buckles, it just has this little hook and a little uh, bungee, so you attach that. It's gonna hold it in place. On this side, just a general pocket, nothing special in there. Throw whatever you want in there, granola bars, etc. On this side, uh, a mouth call pouch, or actually a few, I think. No, just, oh yeah. Yeah, so there's like three mouth call pouches um, and that's magnetic, so again, not really much noise there. Here's just another general pouch with a little separator in there so you can keep things organized. And then here's like a, just a pocket. I'd probably put like my clippers in there or something like that. Um, oh, there's a whole nother pocket back here that I can't see because I'm fat. There's a... Uh, a little elastic pocket here. I want to find out if I, I, I can feel there's adjustment thingies right here and I, I know I can bring all this further forward and I want to try that. Yeah, I'm gonna try that real quick. See now I've made the straps on the side longer so it brings everything further to the front which is where I want everything to be. The only thing about this material though is like, I feel like it's gonna get covered in stickers, right? It's got a little. Cause it's like soft, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it doesn't have that like scratchy sound, you know, mm -hmm. like that, that stiff stuff does. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think much is gonna stick to this one. Yeah, that one's probably not gonna pick anything up except on that bottle holder. And then the last thing, this one has like a little backpack on the back. It's a uh, hydration pack compatible. And then it's got some bungees so you can like stick a jacket and stuff in there. 
obviously it doesn't have a place to carry out a bird or your decoys, but what it does have is hanging somewhere on my back. Here, there's like a bunch of strings and straps and uh, you can put this around the leg and the head of your decoy or of a turkey. And there's actually uh, D-rings back here somewhere that uh, you can clip into so you can just hang a bird right on your back. So it's um, got something. It's got something to help mm -hmm. you carry it out. And I like that it's not like taking up a ton of space. Mm -hmm. It's just simple like for when you actually need it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's very minimalistic. Um, yeah, and then the seat just kind of folds up because it's attached to the front here. So you just flip it up and it's good to go. And then when you need it, you just flip. And it's actually kind of nice. So this is an Alps Outdoors uh, vest. This was one that I bought a few years ago. I think I did one, one season with it and uh, just wasn't really crazy about it. Didn't really have uh, the right placement for me, um, but it's still a good vest, so you, you should check it out. It's pretty minimalistic, yeah. See, I looked at this one. I think there's a newer version of this, mm -hmm. and it didn't have this like padded spot right here. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't like the idea of leaning up against a tree with absolutely nothing there. But that vest I've been using has about a, a pad about this big mm -hmm. up high mm -hmm. right here. And it actually is surprisingly effective. Hmm. So this is fitted for small people right now. <laughs> so you use this and you just didn't like it? Yeah. Yeah. I did one season with it uh, three years ago and it just wasn't crazy about it uh I, you know it wasn't bad i just i don't know it just didn't hit the mark so i kept looking and i found this nomad one that i've been really happy with so i do like these pouches being a bit bigger have like all the space that you need mm -hmm. um but i also find that they're like kind of bulky mm -hmm. but but it doesn't have a seat Mm -hmm. But I kind of, I think it does have one though. Might have had a seat that I chucked. I mean, I actually kind of like this thing. Mm -hmm. I think these come off or something. Well, yeah, I remember you can, uh, uh -huh. it's like convertible. Uh -huh. You can take these pockets off uh -huh. and yeah. just go uh, with a. Um, just like a backpack. Just like a no, like a fanny pack. Like a fanny pack mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember reading about it, yeah. that it's convertible. So these pockets come off completely. Mm -hmm. And you can even take the straps off completely and just run a fanny pack. Or you can run a fanny pack with straps mm -hmm. without these, or you can just do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So we should try and find the seat. Yeah, I'll look around the garage. <laughs> I think I chucked it. So, I mean, that one's pretty cool. Uh, that's kind of a bonus. I wasn't even planning on looking at this one. Um, but I mean, I like these pockets. Mm -hmm. They're like everything that you need, all your calls and everything are right on your chest where you want yeah, them. Yeah, that's why I want it in front of me. And then, I mean, it, this fanny pack actually has quite a lot of space in it too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can put your whole lunch in there. Yeah. I kind of like this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm... Oh, I see why there's a magnet. It's so you you can take this whole pack off. Yeah. You could just unzip it right there and this whole pack mm -hmm. just pops right off. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very convertible. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's a turkey vest. Got a cushion. I feel like this is like one of the most important parts. Yeah. It's like how long can you sit on that cushion? Uh-huh. Like how long is your butt going to be comfortable? It's a little, it's a little stiff. I'd say it's a stiff cushion. I think I like this cushion. I think this one's a little stiff. Yeah, but I'm heavier than you. So stiff might be better for me. I'm very aware of my tailbone right now. <laughs> I feel like this is weird. Like there's so much yeah. 
looseness. Something's going on there. All right, let's let's switch. this seat's too squishy. I feel like it's not really doing much. I'm just kind of, when I sit down on it, my weight just kind of flattens it out to nothing. I think th this seat's definitely stiffer, uh -huh. but I feel like this one, I think in the long run, this will be more comfortable, even though at first it feels stiffer. Mm -hmm. After a while, I think that one's going to create pressure points. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. See when I hear when I think about this best. So yeah, what do you think of it? <laughs> I think uh, this seat's a little too squishy. It almost uh, doesn't really offer much support at all, really. When I sit down, it just kind of like flattens out into nothing. So you think it's very? I mean, you have another Nomad. It's, it's nothing like that seat. Uh, no, I, I think uh, yeah, it, it's uh, much less dense than my other Nomad seat. So what do you think compared to this seat? Uh, I would say I, that seat's probably going to be a little better, but again, I think, I think that seat was a little too stiff, and I think this seat is uh, too soft. Too soft. So I kind of like this seat, mm -hmm. but I'm also heavier than you, so the stiffness probably like kind of is just right for me because mm -hmm. I'm a lot heavier. For sure. Yeah. I have like more, more area to what sit What do you think on. about your backrest? Backrest, uh, I'm not feeling any cushion really. I don't, I don't know if there is. It's I hardly it's anything. A, yeah, it's very little, little on bit that of padding. One. But I this one actually has pad though. I definitely feel the tree in this one, and I don't think I noticed the tree in that one. Yeah, the back pad on this is a, a big thing. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that like you don't even think about until you're sitting there for like mm -hmm. over half an hour, and then suddenly that tree starts jabbing into spots on your neck and your back that yeah. you never thought about before. Yeah. I think so. number one for me is is seat, really, because that, I think, is going to create the most movement, just, like, trying to, like, reposition yourself and yeah. get comfortable and, you know, if you're going to sit for a long time, uh, I think you're really going to want a good seat. Yeah, I agree. Overall comfort, which one do you like better? Uh, it's interesting. I, th I would say comfort, I'd probably go with that one the night inhale but um so far uh ergonomics uh, i think this one's got a lot better pockets i don't like where they are i like that you've got everything you need whereas that one i was kind of it, it, it was almost too minimal i was looking at those pockets and i wouldn't even know where to put your strikers it has striker pockets right it here does? it has four of them right here yeah all right i couldn't find them so like, I actually kind of like that aspect of it because I like that your pot calls slip right in here. Uh -huh. There's no buckles or zippers to uh -huh. get them out. You just grab them and pull and they're like elastic. So they're held in and, mm -hmm. and then your strikers are right next to it. Mm -hmm. And there's like a pocket for other stuff in there yeah. too. So I yeah. like that it was right there. Cause those, if you have your pot calls in there, like you got to deal with a buckle, mm -hmm. which I don't like at all because mm -hmm. that's just making noise and clicking and yeah and then trying to close it again when you know if you hear a bird mm -hmm. and you're like oh crap i need to get closer you know and you want to put your stuff away real quick and make a move and you got to figure out where that buckle is mm -hmm. and... yeah i like the the vest i have a lot because it's got uh it's actually got bungees that like slip oh, onto yeah. a hook so they're really quiet as opposed to a buckle which will kind of yeah. click i don't like that buckle yeah also, I'm not crazy about how far back these pockets are. Like it yeah. kind of feels like I, I really have to kind of do a lot of this to get to everything. I, like I think you more ha have. I think you can move it further forward. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think there's a panel. Or actually, I don't know, I this guess, is. I guess there isn't. Yeah, yeah, they're just where they are. Well, and for me, it's even worse because I'm a big guy. So. Mm -hmm. For me to get to those, I felt like I was reaching behind myself. Yeah. And I couldn't see them. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I can't help but compare it to my other Nomad vest. And my other Nomad vest, everything's kind of like right here. And that's yeah. almost perfect for, uh, like, you know, uh, minimal movement. Well, you could probably tighten this up and bring mm -hmm. it a little bit closer. But 
Yeah. But yeah, that one's definitely like everything's right in the mm -hmm. front. But it is pretty open. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like and I think both this this, this is weird though. I yeah. don't they should have made these straps shorter. Mm-hmm. But even for me being a bigger guy, like mm -hmm. they were still way too long. So yeah. both both vests are very minimal, so I think both of them would pass the, the Florida test. <laughs> I like this one, I think. Well, I would say the loser is the nomad mm -hmm. what do you think yeah yeah i wasn't crazy about it um i'm really not impressed yeah it, uh, the adjustability in the straps didn't seem like it could really fit your form right both mm -hmm. of ours uh, yeah and so. we're like the opposite mm -hmm. so and then on top of that it's it's just not comfortable mm -hmm. this padding it's like a quarter inch mm -hmm. thing of foam that's not really going to save your back from the tree and then you know, you have stuff on your chest right mm -hmm. here that, where you want it, but it's really minimal. Like you just get some some pouches for your your mouth calls and like a box call, but then to get to your pot calls, you got to reach all the way around mm -hmm. the side. Yeah. It just seems like they've it has everything that you need. It's just not in a place where you really necessarily mm -hmm. want it. Yeah, especially with those pot calls. I don't I don't want to be making all that movement to and, get to my side. And honestly. I, I felt like this seat was smaller, but look, I mean, they're mm -hmm. they're basically yeah. the same mm -hmm. size seat. So, yeah, there's really not much that the Nomad is offering that makes it better. In fact, I feel like there's almost nothing that it does better than the other ones. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> oh. that one loses. <laughs> I mean, just being real here down to this one and i should mention the price points real quick uh this night and hail one is the cheapest of them all i think you can get it on amazon for like 80 bucks i'll put a link down in the description uh if you're interested in getting it that nomad uh is running a hundred dollars so that's a little more expensive and i think this alps one is right around the same price as this i think it's like 80 bucks mm -hmm. so um but i mean i i like both of these I just wish that I could try out the seat on this one. Um, there's a lot about this Alps one that I really like. Like I mentioned, I really like these big pockets being right on your chest where everything that you need is right there. You don't have to be reaching around trying to get to your stuff. But I don't like that it doesn't have the pad in the back. And this one has like a pretty good size pad. You can put your hydration pack in there. There's, I don't even see that before. There's like moly webbing mm -hmm. over here. You can attach whatever stuff you want. So I think right now this one's kind of winning for mm -hmm. me. What do you think? Yeah. Well, you didn't like that one much. Yeah. Yeah. I had the Alps. I tried the Alps before. Wasn't you, crazy about it. Um, you feel like you'd like this one better than that one? Uh, for me, they'd probably be a tie, really. It's too small the for you? And the and the Alps. Yeah. Yeah. Almost, a, a almost too minimal for me. Um, yeah. Again, with the Nomad that I do have, um, having that big pouch in the back, I really like it. It's super easy to throw toss a turkey. In, yeah. yeah. And also, you know, like an extra water bottle. Um, like I, you know, kind of use the the back as a pack as well. And yeah, that was one thing I did really like about that big vest that I was using. Um, if I wanted to throw something in in mm -hmm. my bag real quick. Like the pouch was so big, it would come basically to the sides, and yeah. I could just yeah, I, can, I could get in there from that just one like too, that. I can I can dig in like that. Um, but that said, I mean, I I think this is gonna serve all the purposes that I need a vest for. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's it's everything that you need is right in front. I got my mm -hmm. pot calls. I I got all my calls right here. Mm -hmm. You know, like right in front, and um, all my clippers right in here. Mm -hmm. So like everything that I need on a hunt yeah, is, is this mesh too right here. This, this yeah, this is all mesh. it's all mesh, super mm -hmm. thin. So, and that's for me like the most important thing is like mm -hmm. I need it to be cool because mm -hmm. I just get so hot. For you, it's not as big of a deal. So, if you're the kind of guy that gets hot and sweaty, uh, and you're looking for one of these run and gun style vests, check out the Night and Hail RNG 200. Alternatively, the Alps Outdoors. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put a link to the uh, current version of that one in the description too. And 
frankly, I, I wouldn't really advise the Nomad. Yeah. But he would advise the other Nomad, the MG. So I'll put a link to that one as well. I think that one's like 130 bucks. Yeah, it's a I little more say. pricier. Um, if you don't get hot and you don't mind having a little extra on you, I would get that one because uh, it is nice having all the extra space. But for me, the trade-off isn't worth it. So mm -hmm. I think I just got myself a new vest. All right. Yeah. Look out, turkeys 2022. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might still need your help to kill them, though. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe down below or is it above? I can't remember. It's down below. <laughs> All right. And if you got questions, uh, things we didn't talk about in these, just drop a comment down there. Be happy to answer them about any of these vests. Um, and let's see, do we have any stuff coming up with BHA? Yeah, actually, we got a hog hunt coming up. Oh, We're yeah. gonna be camping out uh, in a couple weeks now. May 14th to the 16th. In Dupuy. There's a link down in the description for that. And uh, we just set the date for our upcoming invasive species fish fry event. Uh, so if you're subscribed, you'll hear us mention that in the future. And uh, there's all kinds of other stuff coming too. So um, you know what, just go to the BHA website and just become a member and we'll tell you all about what we got going on. And uh, we'd greatly appreciate your support. So Absolutely. until next time, peace out. See ya.